What I do remember about Jean-Michel is that he was a creative genius. The way that his words and his artwork resonates with people, you know, resonates with the experiences that we're having today. I can't say that I thought, you know, my brother's going to be an artist, but I knew and recognized his artistic talent and the fact that that was just who he was. And he was creative about everything he did. So there is a seven year difference between Jean Michel and I. He was always a jokester. He was also very protective, just a great older brother. He would come up with these adventures and we would all fall into line because we, we were his younger sisters. He, uh, <laughs> he had us uh, call all of the restaurants in the area for delivery. We called about 20 different restaurants, pizza parlors and Chinese food places, about 20 different orders. And so just so that we could have the thrill of looking out the window at 20 different delivery people standing on the street with food. <laughs> He was so ahead of his time, genius almost. He was able to put on canvas not only the paintings, but also his thoughts. He shared information about the history of the world and his own personal history, his own roots. There's a lot of reference to Haiti and to Puerto Rico and, and to Africa. He also spoke a lot about relationships that he had with people and they would show up in his paintings. And he also spoke about the things that he was upset about and disturbed about, things like racism and the way people were being treated and classism. I like the ones that reference his personal history, Aros con Pollo, um, biography. There are a lot of uh, works that are out there, particularly the works on paper, that do reference things from our childhood, people that we knew, others that remind us of times uh, that we had with him, like a boy and dog and a Johnny Pump. They opened up a lot of hydrants in New York City. It really stands out for me as a fun summer that we had with him. Each one of his paintings, no matter the topic, was about him having the courage to speak his piece. And I think that is what, for me personally, makes Shami Shell so fascinating and what I'm so proud of. The world is coming to a point where they collectively understand that you know, he has a footprint. And he's finally being taught about in schools and in universities, which has made a, a great impact as well. He's our brother first, you know, before anything else before you know him being an artist or any of the lives that we've you know created outside of that he's our brother first and foremost and that hasn't changed even you know in the 30 years since he passed away i would love for people to know that he had a family i think there is a huge misconception that he left home at 17 and um, never looked back i saw him right before he passed you know we hung out with him and partied with him and um he was such a great person to be around. So many of us have a dream and we kind of hang with it. You know, he did it. That's his legacy.